everybody. So today I'm going to share with you an unboxing and initial impressions video of the NASB 2020 large print ultra thin reference Bible. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then stay tuned. Hi everybody. So today I'm going to share with you a Bible unboxing and initial impressions video. And this one just might be my last unboxing for the year. I'm actually expecting a couple more Bibles to show up, but they seem to be kind of lost in limbo out there somewhere. So we'll go ahead and open up this one and check this one out. All right, let's go ahead and tear into it get all the paper out of there and we can see that this one is an NASB and this is going to be the 2020 NASB so I'll go ahead and get our background changed out and we'll take a look at this and I do really like the colors that they use on these new boxes okay so this one here is going to be the large print ultra thin reference Bible and this one here is going to be in the black calfskin leather and I like how they've got the colors on here. So it's going to tell us it's got a clear reading type, center column references, footnotes, paragraph layout, color maps, and black letter. So nice looking box. It looks like we've got features along the side as well. So one thing that I think is neat is going to be that line matched type. That is something that Lockman has needed to do for a very, very long time. Then we've got some information on the side there. So let's go ahead and see how this one looks. Okay, so we do have it wrapped in plastic. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the cellophane here. Okay, so I've got that out of the cellophane. And that is a really nice looking grain pattern. You can see that it's got a really large grain. We've got perimeter stitching. The spine on this one, we've got Holy Bible, New American Standard Bible 2020, large print ultra thin NESB, and Lockman Foundation. Then we can see those raised tubs. That looks really nice. We've got our ISBN number on the back. Looks like we've got nicely done gold gilding, two ribbons. This one is going to have an edge line binding so that liner is tabbed up onto the block. We've got some family pages. This one was printed in China. Again, it's the 2020 edition of the text. And it does state that this one is line matched. So I am really looking forward to that. But I'm going to go ahead and pull out these ribbons. And one thing we can see right there is we're just at the beginning section of the Bible. And that's already staying open. So on our layout, we've got our double column layout. We've got the center column references. This bottom section is going to be for this right-hand side. This top section is going to be for the left-hand column. Then we'll have our footnotes down along the bottom. And that print, that is probably one of the nicest prints I've seen in any Bible from Lockman. Because this is the first time I've seen them do line matching. Which I'm so glad that they've went ahead and done that upgrade. We'll take a quick look at our ribbons. So we do have two ribbons. They are just a single-sided satin. We've got one red, one black. So it is nice that we have two. It would be nice if they were a double-sided satin, but it is still nice to have two, and I do like having two different colors, the red and the black. So I do like that. I'm going to go ahead and get you a close-up of our text. So there is the text. You should be able to kind of tell that that is line-matched. I'm not 100% sure if you're going to be able to see that there. Maybe if I get that angle just right, you can kind of tell. Especially when we're looking at the text here on the back side of the page, you can see that that does line up with the text on the front side of the page. I don't recall what the font size is on this one, so I'll put it up on the screen. This Bible does lay really nice and flat. It does have a nice feel to this paper. I'm not sure what the GSM is, but this is a nice addition. 
here in the New Testament, it is just going to be the black letter. So for those of you who struggle with red letter, this would be a great addition. And I'm just so excited that they went ahead and line matched this one. That is just awesome. We'll get back to the back of the Bible here. And again, this is just the unboxing and initial impressions. And so far, I really like this. So we get back to the back of the Bible. We'll have the topical index of the Old and New Testament. So the print back here looks nice. We've got that double column layout. And I'm really liking this one. We've got in the very back of the Bible, we do have some short little introductions for each book. So it is nice that they have these in here. And then after our book introductions, looks like we've got the parables of Jesus, the miracles of Jesus, important events in his life according to the Gospels. So I think that's really neat. And then we've got our Bible maps. They are on a glossier paper. We've got some stitching here, so nice sewn binding. We've got the Ministry of Jesus map. I think that one's really neat. So it looks like we do have eight maps. And then we just get back to the back of the Bible. So this is a nice Bible. The outside section of this leather does have a really nice soft feel to it. The inside, I'm not sure if this is just a synthetic type liner. So it does give it some stiffness so it's not going to be overly floppy at all. The spine hubs on there look really nice. I love the look of that grain pattern. So if this is one that you were holding with one hand, it's not going to be overly floppy. Because like I said, that leather does provide... A little bit of a stiffness with this type of liner in there but just a really nice looking bible and the print in this one is impressive again we do have the two ribbons black and red they are just going to be the single-sided satin but it's always nice to have two ribbons in a bible and i like the colors that they chose i think that looks really nice with the bible again this one is the large print ultra thin there's the ISBN number. I will put a link to it in the description box down below. And I will be following up this video with the full review once I've spent a little bit of time with it. But so far, I do really like this. And I really look forward to reading from this one. If you've made it this far in the video and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also make sure that you click that little bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.